Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Grandstand. Avery, Marvin, Frank with you in-house. All right, guys, spring football. Who knew that this would really be Mercer's coming out party? The Bears, after a slow start, Avery, we'll start with you, have really turned it on. Yeah, it's been really, really impressive. And I think they're – when I talked to Coach uh, Chronic about it, he's saying they're doing it in all three phases of the game. Um, their offense has lit folks up on the board, put up a couple of 45-point performances. Their defense has been monstrous, especially mm -hmm. the last two weeks. They pick up three straight wins over ranked opponents. Drew Chronic has those kids really, really believing in themselves. And it has been impressive uh, just to watch them play from week to week and, and grow from day one. Marv, an omen of good things to come in the, in the fall maybe for this team. Absolutely. And what the biggest thing is that a lot of young guys are getting to play and getting some snaps, getting some starts that they haven't got a chance to ever have before. If you look at the roster, there's so many young guys there that have never, ever played college football before. And they're actually doing well. And I think, and especially in such a strong conference, you know, that's got to give them confidence coming down the line three, four months later that they're going to return back and be able to do some of the things that they just learned. Um, it, the future definitely looks bright for Mercer in the Southern Conference. All right, Mar Braves off to a slow start. Any particular reason to worry this early? No, it's too early. There's too many bats in that lineup. I mean, it's so impressive. And I think the pitching is always has us um, a little worried about what we're going to do down the stretch. But I'm just so excited the way Ronald Acuna Jr. is coming back out. I know Avery has talked about that before. He wanted to see, you know, glimpses of him in the past of what he's been able to do. And he's coming out shining. Freddie's coming out the same way. I'm not worried about Ozuna. I'm just excited about that lineup, one through nine, the way they come up every night. All right, Avery, talk about Ronald Acuna Jr. Without a doubt, I would say right now probably in the top five as far as all-around players go. He is such a spark plug. You got him in the leadoff of that batting lineup, and you can just kind of tell he sets the tone for the way a lot of these games go. If he's batting well, chances are – we're going to have a really uh, solid chance of, of winning a ball game, even when he's not batting well. Um, just his influence and his potential to do something fantastic every time he steps up to the plate. Uh, you, you, you've got opposing pitchers kind of uh, quaking in their boots for a little bit. You've got to strategize around him uh, when, it, when it comes to, you know, how you're going to, uh, to pitch to that lineup. So he's, he's got them playing really well right now. The good news is he's going to be a brave for a long time. All right, Marv Avery, thanks very much. Always good talking with you, and it's always good to be in the grandstand.